everyone, this is the news for November 21st, 2018. There is a ton of news, so if you need a snack or something, please do. Lots have happened this past week. First up, we have sad news that Stanley has passed away this past week at the age of 95. Stanley was the creator of Spider-Man, the X-Men, Thor, Iron Man, Black Panther and the Fantastic Four, and he's been making cameos in Marvel films for years. He will definitely be missed. The Walt Disney Company has donated $500,000 to support the recovery efforts of the wildfires in California, and I definitely have all those people in mind constantly every day, and, you know, just sending them lots and lots of love. It's so stupid sad. Positive notes. Um... Tickets can now be purchased for Ralph Breaks VR, which is virtual reality. This experience will be at the Void in Disney Springs beginning on November 21st. During the game, guests will become immersed into the world of Ralph and Vanellope, and tickets are $38 a piece, and guests must be at least 10 years old and 48 inches tall. If you have not done this, I highly recommend it. The Star Wars one is incredible. Just ask my son. He could not... Stop saying how awesome it was the entire time. Also, this past week, we saw the release of two movie trailers. One for the live-action version of Dumbo, and one for Toy Story 4. In Dumbo, we are introduced to two new characters. Well, actually, lots of new characters. But the new characters, as Dumbo learns how to believe in himself, there will be children. It looks like they are taking the place of Timothy the Mouse. It's so cool. Dumbo is set to release on March 29th, 2019. In the trailer for Toy Story 4, we see the wonderful group of friends that we all know and love and a new toy as well. It's, it's so funny. Uh, toy Story 4 will be released on June 21st, 2019. So, okay. Lots and lots of news. We have, first up, that Disney released the details on the Grand Destino Tower. The Grand Destino Tower is in addition to the Coronado Spring Resort. It will be a 15-story tower. It is set to be finished in July of 2019 and will become the new main entrance for guests visiting the resort. This new addition will bring 545 new guest rooms, including 50 suites, as well as a grand two-story lobby. There will be a new themed table service restaurant as well at the top of this tower where you can see wonderful views of the Walt Disney World Resort. The tower will be it sits along the shores of Lago Dorado and there's going to be a new restaurant Villa del Lago and it is planned to open on an island in the middle of the resort's 14 acre lake Lago Dorado. There will be walkways stretching across the lake so guests can have a convenient way to get to the resort as well. And guests will be able to make reservations for Grand Destino Tower for stays beginning in July 2019. I'm looking over my notes. Sorry about that. Another resort, the Disney Vacation Club Resort, the DVC Resort, on the old River Country grounds along Bay Lake has been named. It is going to be named Reflections, a Disney Lakeside Lodge. It is st supposed to open in 2022. It is nature inspired and will have more than 900 hotel rooms. Another resort. We saw a new concept artwork for Disney's Riviera Resort. And this is also going to be a new DVC resort as well. The Skyliners are officially going to open at Walt Disney World in the fall of 2019, and they look really cool. They look absolutely amazing. Also, details were released for the ride vehicles for Guardians of the Galaxy, and the vehicles are going to be like a rotating roller coaster. Very, very excited about that ride. So the Disney, or oh, at Hollywood Studios, okay, Hollywood Studios has a ton of information. So Hollywood Studios is going to get an all-new nighttime spectacular called The Wonderful World of Animation. This will debut in May 2019, and this will celebrate the park's 30th anniversary. It's going to showcase the 90-year history of Disney animation, which, of course, all started with a mouse. Also, we're going to stay in Hollywood Studios and go to the new Star Wars Hotel. And 
This experience will start as guests pull up to the hotel and they will be tr- transported away by a launch pod into a one of a kind experience. And it's being described as like a multi day cruise. So you will be immersed into the story from the start to the finish. The hotel will be located next to Hollywood Studios. There is no opening time frame yet for this brand new hotel. Still in Hollywood Studios, we received some new information about Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, a.k.a. Batu. It has been revealed that the two new attractions will be called Millennium Falcon, Smuggler's Run, and Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. In the Millennium Falcon Smug- Smuggler's Run, guests will be assigned a specific role in piloting the Millennium Falcon. And for Rise of the Resistance, guests will be thrown into a battle between the First Order And the Resistance, which also includes Kylo Ren. It was also announced for Galaxy's Edge that John Williams will be creating new and original music exclusively for this land. That is absolutely incredible. So Star Wars Galaxy Edge is slated to open at Hollywood Studios in the late fall of 2019. Also, in fall of 2019, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway will open, and that is where the great movie ride used to be. We're going to move over to Epcot, and at Epcot, I don't know why I keep saying it like that, there will be an updated Circle Vision film in China and Canada as well. So stay tuned for more details for those. Also in Epcot, if you have not heard, Illuminations is going away. It will be ending in 2019. And the new Epcot show, A Celebration of Disney Music, is going to debut in 2020. But they are not going to leave us hanging. So right after Illuminations ends, Epcot Forever will debut in fall of 2019. And that will feature classic Epcot tunes as well as A Spark of Imagination. With fireworks, music, lighting, lasers, and special effects kites. So that is super exciting. Now, a celebration of Disney music, which is what all these pictures are, will debut in 2020. And that will celebrate how Disney music inspires people around the world. With floating set pieces and LED panels and choreographed moving fountains, lights, pyrotechnics, and lasers. In France and Epcot... Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. Yep, that is the official name, and that is supposed to open in 2020. Also coming to Epcot, the France Pavilion will see a new show in addition to Impressions de France, and this new show will be a Beauty and Beast sing-along. So that is super exciting. Will it be like the Frozen one in Hollywood Studios? Only time will tell. So that is a ton of news. And I thank everybody so much for being with me. I try to make it short by talking really fast. If you have any questions, please ask. And I would appreciate it if you could like and subscribe, comment down below, and I will see you guys next time.